Hello, 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 people. Welcome to Season 2, Episode 1 of Homeless to Hero, my worldwide journeyman save, where I am playing with no attributes, no star ratings. We are pretty much blind when it comes to player attributes, staff attributes. We are solely dependent on scout reports and stats and all of that good stuff. And we are currently managing Coca-Cola FC in the Egyptian second division. And in today's video, we are kicking off season two and we are playing against Makassi FC, who have just been relegated from the top division. And oh, we've had one or two transfer issues. So let's go and check it out, yeah? <laughs> Hello people, welcome back to the channel and just before we do get into today's game against Mikasa FC like I said in the intro we are going to look at our transfer issues because if you look up in the top corner here it is the 3rd of July 2021 and we are already starting season 2 we have had just six weeks in between the end of last season and this very game today. So, because of that, and because we was massively over our wage budget at the end of last season, we have indeed had a few transfer issues. I think, if you remember rightly, we was £1,100 a week over our wage budget which for the Egyptian second division is a little bit disastrous. So, yeah, we're going to be looking at our transfers in a second. Then we're going to look at our club vision and our competitions for the year. And then we're also going to look at where we're predicted to finish for the season. And then that is when we are going to kick off our game against Makassar. So, first things first, transfers. As you can see, in absolutely nobody absolutely nobody has come into the club and that is all because of one of two reasons one the massively over the wage budget that we was how massively over it we was and two is because like i said we've had six weeks i was not expecting this until about a week and a half ago in game I thought we, it would be a normal mid-August, early August, traditional start. But no, over here in Egypt, they like to do things a little bit differently. So all we have concentrated on is trying to sell people. And we've got a few out of the club. And we've actually got cash human monies for some of them. The first one we sold was for £450. Big, big, huge money there. But that got Rami Sad off the wage budget. And as you can see, he's on £55 a week at his new club. I think he was on about 40 for us. So 40 for a 15-year-old. Yeah, I'm very happy that he has gone. And then next up, Gaber Salem, 29 years old. I was umring and ahring about letting this guy go. But he was on quite big money. You can see that at his new club, Olympic Alexandria, he's on £130 a week. I think he was on about 80 90 for us, something like that. So that's quite a big chunk of change off the wage budget there. And Gaber Salem, actually, he played a few times for us last year. But this is the main reason why I wasn't too sad about letting him go. 23 appearances, 1 goal, 1 assist. 6.6 .6 average rating so yeah i wasn't too upset about letting him go and then next up mohammed kamal 16 years old again and again on 55 pound a week at his new club fertilizers club that sounds like something your dodgy uncle or your dodgy granddad or your dodgy granddad goes to on like a saturday afternoon doesn't it fertilizers club i do not want to know what goes on there but again, he didn't play for us last year, and it gave us some cash money. So, yep, got rid of him. And then all of these all went on a free. 
And Ibrahim Gabra, who Gabra, I think that's how you pronounce his name. He only played for us four times last year. So happy to get rid of him. And then next up, we have got Amar Walid, who I think might have played a few times for us. Yes, he did. 11 appearances, 4 goals, 3 assists. So I was I was up in arms about keeping him or or letting him go. But again, it's just all money. I think he was on a wage with us. Why he's not at his new club, I'm not quite sure. But whatever, that is his personal business. And then these next two, Samar Nabil and Ala Awad, have both gone to Pyramid Academy. Samir Nabil is 18 years old, played 13 times for us last year, but only got an average rating of 6.5. So, yep, wasn't really top set about letting him go. And then Arad, 18 years old, and again, only played six times. So, yeah, we managed to knock about £400 a week, I think, off the ways budget. Uh, duh, 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 duh. let's go over here. This is the easiest way to have a look. I find pending transfers. Yeah, we've got it down. Well, I say down. It's still not brilliant, is it? Eight hundred and two pound a week over the wage budget, and there are still a lot of offers in for our players. And yeah, so you never know. Next episode, hopefully, we might have got that wage budget down. So next up, let's have a look at the club vision. And as you would expect, work within waste budget, most important, and we are struggling. So, yeah, not brilliant. But other than that, we just need to avoid a relegation battle this season. We'll see how we go. I'm confident it is only one team that gets relegated from this league. So, as long as we're not terrible, we should be okay. And in the Egypt Cup, they want us to reach the third round as a minimum. As you'll see in a minute, we enter in the second round. But third round is not looking likely. You'll see why in a second. But also, rather weirdly, repair the club's financial damage. I'm going to be honest with you boys and girls. I did nothing to do that. I did absolutely nothing. The end of season, last season came about. We got some sponsorship money in like a week or two later. And then they went, boom! Ooh, you are awesome. You have repaired the club's financial damage. All without me lifting a little finger. So, happy with that. Happy to have passed one test in my life without having to do anything. So, yeah, very happy with that. And then, so, let's go into our competitions. We'll have a look more at the league in a second. But this is the Egypt Cup. And if we scroll all the way down here, because there's a lot of teams in this second round, you will see that we are playing Smelha, Smuha, FC, and they are in the top league. So, yeah. Third round as a minimum for the Egypt Cup is looking unlikely. I have got to say. Let's actually have a look. Where did they finish last season? They finished... 14th. Only just above the relegation zone. But I still think we're not going to have the best of, year, best of games against them. Whenever that game does come up. Actually, let's have a look at this. Let's have a look at this in the top league. Al Gas have been randomly chosen over Al Guna. After both teams finished on 51 points with the same record. That's harsh. Surely you should have given them a playoff. Uh, National Bank have been randomly chosen as well. Against El Masri after they both finished on 40 points. Uh, military Production. What a name for a team that is. That's a cracking name for a team. And they've had the same thing after finishing on 38 points. And Aswan have been randomly chosen over Ghazi for the same reason. That needs looking at Egypt. That really does need looking at. Not going to lie to you. You need a playoff there, boys. But, yep. So, third round of that competition is going to look difficult. And so, if we go to our season preview. 
Oh, that's better than the last time I looked. The last time I looked, we was fifteenth, and while we are still um joint joint on odds with the team in fourteenth, fifteenth, and twelfth, thirteenth isn't terrible. I would take that as the season began. Because where did we finish last year? Last year we finished 13th, right there. So, if after having cut down the wage budget, we can still finish in exactly the same place, I would take that for this season. Obviously, I'd like a lot more, but I'm not holding out that much hope. So, yep, transfers we've looked at. I think we've looked at everything I want to have a look at. So. Why don't we get into the game, yeah, boys? And let's have a look and see what team I've picked for this first game of the season. Here we are. We are going with a 4-4-1-1. We've got Torfik in goal, Radwan at left-back, Sammy at right-back, Magdi and Hani are our two centre-backs for today. And then in midfield, we've got Rida, Belibi, El Sadri, Salah, Abdul Wahab, his normal position is on the left, but I do want to try him up here at Shadow Striker. I tried him there a couple times last season, and it worked on and off, so we'll see how it goes today. And then up front, we've got our little youngster, who I really like, Mustafa El Sami. I like him because he came on for the last two games of last season and got himself a goal in both games so i want to see if he can carry that on today if he does i'm if he does and if he scores today i might just give him one of chilled moose's custom faces because i do think he will have earned one if he gets himself a goal today but yep that is it i will be back with you in a second when we are just about to take on uh, who are we playing again? Makasso FC. I'll see you when I'm in the dressing room. Actually, before we do go into the dressing room, I do just want to go through the tactics. I just realised I didn't go through them with you. So, for this season, this is mainly what we're going to be going for early on. We'll see what changes as it goes. But for today, at least, we're going. Uh, we're not going to go positive because we're playing against a team that's just been relegated. So, we're going to go cautious. But then we've also got sort of passing, play out of defence, whipped crosses, dribble less, work ball into box, play for set pieces, be more disciplined and narrow play. So we can be nice and tight and we can try and keep the ball when we get it. Try and keep the ball. Don't try and do anything fancy. Just play it between yourselves. Make the ball do the work. That is what I want when we've got the ball. And when we're in transition, I want the ball to go out wide to our fullbacks. And then I want to slow the pace down. Just keep hold of it. Just see the game out. We're not expected to get anything from this. So if we can eke a draw out of this, that would be a phenomenal result. And then out of possession, we've got a lower defensive line for today. Just because I'm expecting us to be under a lot, a lot of pressure and a lower line of engagement, and a much less urgent pressing just to keep the fitness levels. I don't want our players getting too knackered early on. So now, let's get into the dressing room at last. Okay, so now, what are we going to do? Um, I'm going to do outstretched arms. Hands in pockets. And you know what? I am going to go with what my assistant is saying. We are huge underdogs. And that's got one, two, three, four players motivated. But that has got Amro Radwan nervous. And Mohamed Ramadan as well. Might have to keep an eye on that. But let's go into the game. I'm going to predict an optimistic 1-1 draw. Come on, Coca-Cola FC. First highlight of the game. And it's Sammy G throwing it to Salah for us. We are in the red. They are in the green. As our long ball has just been knocked forward for Makasso FC. And Voavi coming forward. He's on the edge of the box. He's going to take a shot on. And thankfully that was not very good. And has gone wide. 20 minutes into the game now. And we've kicked, we've kicked it long. 
I don't know why. I've told the boys, salt, slow, passing, don't just lump it forward. We don't want them to have the ball as much as they would like to have it. But now they have got it. Diara is coming forward. Can anyone in a red shirt stop him? Nope, but he goes back to Safiq on the left-hand side. He's crossed it into the box and Bekele with the header. And thankfully that has gone harmlessly over the bar into that sparsely populated crowd. But now five minutes later, they have got a free kick. And oh, we've saved it. And oh, what a save. What a double save from Torfik. He's just turned into prime Peter Michael. Oh my god, another highlight. Please, let this be us getting forward. Hani to El Sadadri. Back to Hani. As we are now finally keeping the ball and just playing it salt. Don't go long. You've got a man in space up there, Sammy. Simple. From back to Hani. At least we are being cautious. That I do like. And Hani, just as soon as I say that, he lumps it forward. What is it with these boys? But their long ball has harmlessly gone to nobody. El Sami finally gets a touch of the ball. Goes to Reda. Now what can Reda do for us? He goes back to Radran. I'm never going to be able to say that word. And El Sami knocks it back, but only as far as a man in green. Now Lassine, he's gone long. And oh, I think our keeper maybe could have come out. Oh, that's not a penalty. Oh, that is never a penalty, ref. Oh, we've been robbed. We have been robbed here. As now, it's going to be El Azab to step up. He goes for it and Torfik it went the right way. Oh, Torfik, so unlucky. Just far too much power for him to stop that. Yeah, let's have one more look at it. Cracking penalty. Torvik, I think he got some fingertips to it. 38 minutes gone now. It's them with another highlight. And their corner has been headed, but only against a bar. And it's gone out. Thinking of going more attacking in the second half now. Wow, look at that for some half-time stats. 19 shots, 2R1. 10 on target, 2R1. 2.24 xg to our 0.09 but we have had a lot more of the possession so we could just do something with it we might have half a chance of getting back into this i'm gonna go hands on hips i'm gonna go yeah unlucky boys just to try and get them motivated as we have now let's go let's go attacking sod it See, you can see, Storter passing. Storter passing, it says there. Why they're not doing it, I don't know. But uh, what do we want to change? Do we, may do we maybe change distribute to the playmaker? Do we maybe do that? Yeah, I think we do that, and then... Maybe a st maybe standard and standard lines. Or if they're so intent on just kicking it long, do I just listen to them? I think I just listen to them. You know what? We're going to go higher, but we are going to go with a standard defensive line. I've got a feeling their defensive line might be able to be caught out by this. So this is what we're doing. Yep, sort of passing, play out of defence. Work ball into box. Nothing much has changed on the in-possession uh, part of the tactic. But we are distributing to the playmaker. And we are trying to counter. And we are going with a higher line of engagement. I think we've got a chance of getting a draw here, boys. Half an hour left to go in the game. And it's them with the first highlight of the second half. But once again, their header has gone harmlessly over our net. It's been all them. I don't think we've had a single highlight this game. Bakaleli nods it down, goes to Diara. Come on, you've got him right there. Take the ball off him. Diara through to Bakaleli and wow. Didn't expect much out of this game. Did not expect much out of it at all. But, I don't know, I would have liked a little bit more fight. We have done nothing since this second half has started. 
yeah, Bakalele just in behind our defence. Maybe my fault for pushing the defensive line up a little bit. Oh, are they saying this might have been offside? Have we been robbed? Oh, oh we have as well. I, I think we've been robbed. We've had a dodgy penalty given against us and they've scored an offside goal. Where is VAR in the Egyptian second division when you want it? So, you know what? Let's go sod it. Let's go longer passing. More direct. Focus play through the middle. Two on site. Hit early crosses. And let's get Rayouf on for Abdul Wahab. Is that his favourite position? Uh, his favourite position is a poacher, but he can stay there. And I think as well, do we want Ramadan on? Uh, according to this, he might have decent acceleration and decent pace. Uh, but where does he play? Does he play on the right or the left? He plays on the left. And what about Nassar? Yeah, I think we get Ramadan on for Rida. And yeah, leave it like that. Don't play out of defence anymore. Let's just hit it long. Hit and hope. Big, proper, big, fat Sam style football coming up now. Five minutes left to go of the game. It's their keeper with the ball. He goes long. Hani nods it on. And Salah picks it up for us. Now, finally, are we, are we going to have a highlight of our own? Salah with a cross into El Sami. Oh, turn, shoot, shoot. Ah, oh, he's passed it. We're back in it. Salah Al Sadri has got us a glimmer, a little glimmer of hope. That was very, very nicely done. Salah with the cross went straight to El Sami, and f eventually he managed to turn and pass it. El Sadri's first time shot into the back of the net. Can we nick something? The answer is no. No, we can't nick something. But that at the end, little glimmer of hope. We've, we've only lost by one goal to a team that came down from the top division last season. I'm not too upset. And so, look at their match stats though. 26 shots, 2 are 3. 13 on target, 2 are 2. 3.08 xg to our 0.43. Yeah, we maybe should have lost by more. I think we might be okay this season. Weird to say that after a game with match stats like that, but I do think we might be okay. So I'm going to say, um, just one of those days. And yep, everybody's motivated, very happy with that. Let's go and see when we're going to come back, and then I shall let you find people go for the day. Okay, so. When are we going to come back? I'm just trying to think of a team we haven't played yet. But also, I do want to try and get through this season relatively quickly. What about Sabine Republic? I don't think we've played them on camera yet. And let's see, how did they do last season? I think it is probably going to be Sabine. Were they in our league last season? Does Oh. Yes, they finished below us last year. Okay, so perfect. Okay, so that is where we are going to come back next time. If you have enjoyed this video, however, please pop a mahoosive thumbs up down below. Subscribe to the channel for more Football Manager 21 content, Total Extreme Wrestling content, and a whole lot of other stuff I've got planned for the channel. It really, really does help the channel out if you do smash that thumb and subscribe if you're new it really does help us out and as well as that follow me on twitter at tailormade gaming i'll pop the link in the description down below thank you so much for watching i shall see you next time